Let us breathe. In through the nose. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth. Out through the mouth. Today, I've got a lot of exciting topics here for you. Let's start off with the Mayan calendar. All right. Today is Sunday, and galactic moon, day 28. It's the end of the month. Check it out. We're guided by yellow resonant human. You are a human. Know that power. Feel the light. Know that there are angels surrounding you. Angels. And if it comes time that you might need to pass or you might need to face the gates of hell, in other words, maybe somebody has a gun pointed at you, know that these angels are there to lift you up and that nothing can stop you because you know that. You know that you are free and unstoppable. So yellow human represents free will. Let's exercise it. See, the human being, Mayan, win slil, word means cosmic vibratory root. Check that out. And to have a human life is a precious thing. Being human grants the, us the ability to integrate our primal nature nature with our self-reflective intellect right here developing those chakras it is incredible what's going on right now time is speeding up we're having challenges and keeping individual relationships we're moving quickly we're making different friends learning new things experiencing things that are surprising us and like look at me man I like to click tree, tree, tree climb, and I've been like doing pull-ups and stuff, just working out, and hey, it's an alternative to drugs. Whenever I feel down, I go do some pull-ups or something. And there's a great exercise you can do while holding the bar and lifting your legs up. It helps you to make some abs, man. <laughs> Although I'm showing off, it's all in fun, and it's just to, to tell you that, hey, this is what a vegetarian is. This is a lifestyle. Of. Let's take a look at the vitamin pills that I take, okay? One, yeast tablets. These are yeast. You can take them every day as much as you want, a couple, maybe three or four a day, because they provide you with the essential. This is collagen. It's a bone supplement. It has calcium in it. And this is flaxseed oil. You can also, olive oil is the number one. I put it on my skin and my hair. It makes me feel better. makes me feel healthy. And you've got your multivitamin. This is good. And yeah. So that's a good start. And of course, there are many binaural beats on my website masterofthejungle.com start off with the basics and turn off your phone the phone has got these waves that are interfering with our daily lives so let's take a quick look at my notes see what I've got for you guys and regards to emergency food storage alright let's say the cheap basics you go to your local feed store feeds horses and stuff Get your grain and oatmeal. One, two, peanut butter. Three, 
rice. And don't forget to get shoyu and like uh, jars of mayonnaise because this stuff is non-perishable and it's great with rice. And also evaporated milk, condensed milk. These are all things that are in cans and we can depend on for our basic needs. How about popcorn? And don't forget your bottles of dark olive oil. Keep them in the dark and cool. And most importantly, try and locate 25 of those five gallon buckets. You can buy them at the store for like four dollars a piece. So get 25 good ones with covers and fill them all up with water. And there's a special purifier that you can buy like military ration type stuff that you put in the water that keeps it and it still makes it potable and drinkable. And of course, if you get like at least five five gallon containers, fill them with water, close them up, even if in the future the the um, you didn't couldn't find the special purifier, just boil the water, but store up your water. And and if you need more help on this, talk to the Mormons. They're very familiar with food storage. They have a two-year supply on average of food storage. So, let's see what else. Any other notes for you folks today? And how are you? You're my friend, my viewer. If you'd like to hear something or you like what you've heard, write down specifically and I'll embellish on that topic for you. Because this isn't about like everybody out there. It's not about all my friends and family. It's about you. And you may be my friend and my family member. And I thank you for watching this. But it's time. And next thing, if you don't have access to a farm, if you're near a farm, you're working on it. I mean, this is sustainability at its highest. We don't need to get boats and trucks and ship stuff all over the place for us. We don't need to employ expensive machinery to make our crops. We just need to work like three hours in the day, preferably before evening so it's cooler, right? And, whew, this beat's got me, man, it's got me. <laughs> I ain't losing focus, so I'm gonna push this, push this for you. So, yeah, get down to the farming, man. And this is a call out. If you're a youth like myself, or you know youths, and they're potentially in college or like drinking and other other activities that cost money. By the way, I've noticed that everything money is involved in is not serving us because it does one of 12 things. You ready for this? Okay, here we go. What does money do? You ready? Take a deep breath. I'm going to find this for you. So, what are the, some of the detrimental effects of this system? It's just an interference between what one needs and what one is able to get. It is not the money that people need, it is the access to resources. See, it's resulted in elitism, inequality, and most people are slaves to jobs they do not like because they quote unquote need the money. I say let the system collapse. There's tremendous corruption here. And most of these laws are for the benefit of industry and corporations. And although we want to use machines like perhaps a big tractor and a farm to till the soil or some type of a robot to make computers for us to help us communicate and you know keep our thoughts without having to print any paper and stuff there are many instances in which they're, they're the greed and we allow this you think it's the government's fault or the industry no it's your fault it's my fault I take responsibility for what goes on in my environment and that's why I buy local I do local See, money is used to control the behavior of those with a limiting purchase power. Remember that term. And 
there is a tremendous waste of material and strain since if there's less food available the price of food increases as with oil so so it's it would be in the best interest of some people to to hold this food back I mean the earth is being plundered for profit mother nature ain't happy either so remember the angels behind you remember mother nature in your heart and know for a fact that those who are doing these acts of of the devil will not will not be able to avoid their consequences most importantly when the corporation's bottom line is profit decisions in all areas are not made for the benefit of people or the environment but for the acquisition of wealth and property and believe me when this system collapses let it collapse stop using money start bicycling and although the internet might fail don't worry about it we have other forms of communication and we befriend people around us we don't need to be on the phone talking to somebody far away when we can be talking to our neighbor these are you know it's a lot of thoughts for you guys but I have one more thing to finish off we're talking about the wisdom of the mystic masters and this is just an introduction in my next video I'll go in depth about this because this is great stuff alright so we're talking about the human body how to understand yourself the principles of karma birth death reincarnation the power of thought Oh yeah. Psychic projection. The Rusikurian way of life. All I know is there are many secrets to be unfolded. The wisdom. The science. For goodness sake, anti-gravity. Okay? This was used by the Nazis a little bit and Nikola Tesla has been working on this and I mean What's going on here? We've got all this wild stuff going on. Free energy, okay? Free energy. Alright? So, what's the number one recommendation I can make to you right now? Stock up on food. Because we won't be able to think about all this future. If we don't have food. Just go buy your peanut butter. Get your oatmeal. Get your basics, man. Spend $100 and do this. And then, before you know it, you'll have enough food to last you at least six months. Welcome to the jungle. Woo! Come on, man. Can you feel that? Brother or sister, whoever you are, take action right now.